What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be telling you about Windows 10 announced and I'm going to be giving you the features, download and release info. So let's get straight into the features, a truly unified store for apps. With Windows 10 and beyond, Microsoft will allow consumers to source content for all devices running its software from the one central point. No longer will there be a different store for Xbox, Windows Phone and Windows, but looking ahead, apps, music, video and other such effects will be plucked from the same portal. Microsoft has long since sought to cater to business and enterprise markets with Windows, and as you'd expect, there's a big emphasis once again with Windows 10, with features including corporate data protection and what the company refers to as modern management. Business users will continue to thrive on what Microsoft is already dubbing as the best enterprise platform ever. Start menu. Hauled with very little remorse with the introduction of Windows 8, the removal of the long-standing start menu left many users with a feeling of bemusement. But as promised, the traditional start menu is back. Windows 10.1 It mixes elements of the old and new, animating like it did on Windows 7, but sporting remnant of that Metro modern interface. And not only does this seem like a happy median, but start menu tiles can now also be resized. Continuum mode. If you boast a 2-in-1 PC, then you'll be presented with a brand new start screen. And under the hood, Windows 10 will detect which sort of hardware you're running and it will adjust the user interface to fit your needs. Enhance search. Continuing on the topic of start menu, search has also been enhanced with Windows 10. Users will be able to key in their search queries directly from start and can perform both local and web searches using this particular facility. Desktop optimizations. Windows 10 App Snap. Microsoft has panned by critics for going on head first with its big metro or modern ideas for Windows 8 without considering that the vast majority of its user based used and still do use traditional rigs benefit of the touchscreen. Windows 8.1 pandered to desktop users considerably with many of the changes that it brought and with Windows 10 this trend continues. Windowed Metro or modern apps should play nicer with the keyboard and mouse arrangement and for the most part PC and notebook users should feel a great deal more comfortable with Windows 10 than they did back in 2012 with Windows 8. Multitasking continues to be an integral aspect as we seek to perform numerous tasks concurrently and with Windows 10, Microsoft has added a couple of new features to make multitasking even simpler and more fluid. The new Task View button, for example, which is located on the taskbar, throws up an exposed like view of all your apps and even though Windows 10 is still very much in development, Productive users will certainly enjoy some of the tweaks that have been made here. Enhanced Snap View The all new Snap Assist UI allows up to 4 apps to be snapped on the same screen, as per Microsoft's official press release and with a neat Smart Suggestions feature that will indicate which open apps you should fill up empty desk space with. It's a very initiative all round feature. Multiple Desktops Windows users have long since bombarded themselves with an overload desktop, with files and apps accumulating into one big mess. With Windows 10, users will be able to create multiple or virtual desktops, allowing productive, organized folk to arrange separate desktops for different tasks, while those messy folks can make a real mess over several planes rather than just the one. Windows for all devices. The next generation of Windows is tailored to made to work on all devices, be it a 4 inch phone all the way up to a mighty 80 inch display. Technical preview download. The technical preview of Windows 10, which has been referenced as nauseam over the last couple of months, will be available to test starting October 1st 2014, which is of course today. The all new Windows Insider program will 
a bit like Apple's new OS X Beta C program, allow regular users to test drive unfinished software should they so wish. Although as exciting as it sounds, interested parties should remember that the experience is likely to be buggier and more erratic than usual. You can find more details about this at preview.windows.com, link to that will be in the description. The expected release date, Microsoft revealed that Windows 10 will roll out in the middle of next year, and although naturally vague at this stage, did also add that it would be releasing after the annual build development gathering. Pricing, there's no word on the price as of yet. Which makes sense given that we're barely over the line for the announcement, but as soon as this information is made public, I'll be giving you all the details. Now for me personally, I don't see a great deal within Windows 10, and if you go ahead and watch what Windows actually uploaded to YouTube, link to that will be in the description, you'll watch it, read through the comments, they are, their comments are pretty hateful. And to be honest, the only thing I know is different is the live tiles. It's totally up to you. You can get it now if you want to, as I said. But as you'll see in the video that Windows uploaded, they say, make sure you do it on a second computer. Meaning, if you have a first computer, make sure you have a backup computer. Because it's going to be buggier and you may get annoyed. And yes, being casual savage here, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page as I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I post daily, check out my fever channel where I post daily, and finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yes, being casual savage here, I hope I have given you some useful information, and hopefully decided whether or not you will be getting Windows 10. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.